The Philippine film industry at large is dependent on the production of feature-length films as its primary commodity. Ideally, as an industry, what a feature-length film as a commodity should be standardized, and thus its workflow defined within the specific parameter of this standard. A lot of the workings within the film industry can be understood if we are to look closely at its final product and the rationale of its production. The film commodity is mainly defined by its runtime. Commercial exhibitors in the Philippines mostly cater to feature-length films, which makes it quite the dominant form of film with regards to communicative reach. Interestingly, there's yet to be an available guideline of what should constitute a feature-length runtime from the institutions of commercial cinema. Most that one can see feature length defined in the context of Philippine cinema is through the guidelines of film festivals or competitions. The Metro Manila Film Festival, for example, accepts feature length entries and is defined as running in a minimum of 75 minutes. In Hollywood, the feature length is defined differently by two institutions for the Academy of Motion Picture and Arts and Sciences, or the AMPAS. A feature length is a film running for more than 40 minutes, while the Screen Actors Guild of America asserts that a feature length film is not less than 80 minutes. Generally, a feature length film is defined as a film with a runtime long enough to be considered as principal or sole film to fill a program. This notion of programming comes from a long history of mass entertainment. It is not always the case that a film is sold on its own. There's a point in history where venues which film has screened, such as vaudeville theaters and opera houses to name a few, do not exclusively screen films, but rather, films are part of the variety program. Nicholas Salmon noted that short silent films were once filling in the dumb acts, filling in the slots formerly for animal performers and acrobats. At some point, film and other performance acts within the vaudeville switched roles, film became the feature attraction. As the development of film from silent to talkies went on, the practice of hiring supporting acts within the vaudeville scene gradually disappeared. A vaudeville program mostly lasts for five hours. The rental of short films, then later on of longer films, became more economic as the programs get shorter. Film screenings then became more profitable to theater owners as they no longer hire several numbers of individual acts to fill the program. This exchange between film and vaudeville with the development of the feature-length running time is reflected both in form and content of what is considered as the first commercial feature in America, The Jazz Singer, released in 1927. Early commercial feature-length films adapted the musical element of vaudeville both in their format and narrative. While short films historically dominate in quantity, short films did not become a determinant in the practices of industrial filmmaking, except in the context of serial filmmaking which is adapted within the framework of television production. But in the context of commercial theatrical screenings, only one kind of short film is commonly allowed, film advertisements. No one can sell short films. There's still no definite agreement on what is actually the measure of feature-length movie. We can just say on an average that what in practice is considered as features are those which run from 90 minutes to 150 minutes. In the Philippines, cinemas at malls are mostly open for 12 hours a day, which usually cater to five film slots per day per screen. It is observable, however, that Hollywood blockbuster films with running times more than 120 minutes are screened mostly four times only a day, but enjoy two screens or more. This is profitable for the theaters despite its slight deviance from their common programming. The conflict of profit interest between exhibitors, 
Film producers and their distributing agents commonly affects the decision for an average running time in the Philippine setting. If you are a Filipino film producer, considering having a film screened at commercial theaters, like SM Cinemas, you actually would want to have your film only run for 110 minutes maximum. One reason being is that in between screenings, margins are observed for advertisements and theater maintenance. Chances are, exhibitors might not consider a Filipino film which is longer than 110 minutes because Filipino films are not mostly seen as profit makers, with the exception of Christmas hits from mainstream studios. In contemporary times, theatrical Filipino film exhibitions do not equate profit yet for exhibitors, so it is observable that on off seasons, Filipino films are at most given one screen per venue and is always at the threat of being pulled out before the weekend if it did not attract any audience on its first two days. A film's running time is a common point of negotiation between producers, distributors, and exhibitors. But it is mostly the exhibitors, in the recent social practice of commercial cinema, that determines which specific set of running time, along with other determinants of commercial viability, is allowed for public access.